Hey, hi, it's Jim. It's Sunday afternoon. It's video time. And today we're going to be listening to a band called Dordida. 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 Uh, which is apparently... Uh, oh, actually, I kept around to this a minute. Um, cast your minds back a few months ago. I did a uh, video uh, for a band called um, Negura Bunjet, which was recommended to me actually by a friend of mine. And... Uh, he said, oh, you're doing this thing. Just have, have a listen to this. And I was absolutely blown away. Um, it's uh, Romanian black metal. And it's actually quite beautiful. It, it sounds like a sort of a weird thing to say, but it was. It was amazing. And then um, since then, I've had a recommendation um, by, I, I need to find out who it was, uh, Tanu Index, um, just a few days ago, saying, actually, if you liked uh, Nagura Bunjet, try... Do 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 da, do do da, um, and it was uh, a band which was created after uh, Nagura Bunjet sort of fell apart, really. So the drummer uh, carried on doing uh, Nagura Bunjet with some new musicians, and some of the others went off and formed this other band. Do do da, da. That sounds crazy, but what it means is it's three words which are sort of put together. Um, three Romanian words, do. D de, and it means longing for spirit. So there you go. That's uh, that's what the name is. So this is a song called Pand. I can't read that. Uh, Pand Panderal. Dordi de and Panderal. It's going well, isn't it? So if there's anything similar to the last one, it'll be very very good. It's uh, the style of music is uh, sort of. Black metal, atmospheric, folky um, stuff. I have no illusions that I will actually understand a word that's been uh, sung. My Romanian is not very good, and it's a bit shouty as well. Or it certainly was on the on the on the previous one I listened to. So anyway, let's see what this is about. I'll see you guys on the other side. And to, so three, two, one. Oh. The singing is much cleaner than it was on uh, the Guru Punjab. Still don't understand it though. I like that uh, tempo change. That's more like it.
some sorts of instrumentation going on here. There's a plinky plinky piano in the background. And a flute. Really appreciating these tempo changes. That's really good. Lovely chord cool change.
I like this. This is a uh, Dool Do Duh uh, with uh, Panderal. Uh, I don't know what the name of the song means. Um, I don't know what the album is this has come from. Uh, and all I do know is that the name of the band, Dool Do Duh, is a combination of three Romanian words uh, meaning longing for spirit. <sighs> That was really good. Um, really, really good. I enjoyed that enormously. Um, I liked the fact that there was a lot of instrumentation in there. It had a lot of uh, bits in there with uh, with a lot of keyboard pads and with uh, some piano parts. There was uh, the flutes and obviously the, the acoustic guitars as well as the uh, electric uh, distorted and what have you um all parts were there were very good and it's it did remind me actually of strange enough of uh, nagura bunjet so it's likely to but also of opeth in places quite opethy if that's actually a word opethy opethy yes it is now one of the things are other things i really really like about this is that I, it is it is very heavy. It's uh, obviously a lot of the instruments uh, um, are those that are used in um, a very 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 heavy heavy metal. But this doesn't sound brutal. It doesn't sound. It sounds heavy, but it doesn't sound um, sort of really in your face and uh, and brutal. I think that's the word. It is. It's quite beautiful music, which is such a, a clever thing for them to be able to pull off. And it was the same with the um, the other song that I did, uh, which was uh, by uh, Nigiru Bunjet. I can't remember the, name of the song. Um, it should be on here somewhere. Daisha Hyperborna Hyperborninian, or something like that. Anyway, whatever that was, it's, it's the same sort of deal going on. You've got this really, really, really heavy intense music but it's not brutal it is so melodic and beautiful and uplifting it's it's it's, it's a it's a great it's a great trick to be able to pull out of the bag for this band i think it's, it's really good um there's a few websites which have got a little bit of uh, information about this band and there's some reviews on there of the album and it kind of i really want to go and listen to this album i think it's it sounds like it's going to be right up my alley uh, some of the, um, the quotes on there talk about it say so solid and immersive um, and uh, it, it's just forward thinking um, eclectic uh, progressive in places I mean it's all kind of it's all sort of balling in the right direction for me so I'm going to go and listen to a lot more of this because I really like it now I don't understand what they're singing about so as far as I can tell the well, from my point of view, the voice is there literally just as an instrument. It's uh, it's tone, it's it's sound. There is no meaning to what is being sung to me at all. So I I'm not getting that. It could be singing just something really horrible for I know, but um, I don't know. So I'm just going to have to enjoy it for what it is. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I will see you guys on the next video, whenever that may be. And until then, this is Jim over and out. <laughs>